Welcome all you art lovers. How you doing today? Last tip I showed you how to make a blower uh, improver. Well today we're going to show you how to make retardant. You're going to need some vegetable glycerin, a little bit of distilled water, and uh, we'll just go to the easiest recipe that I think of then you can you, we can add or subtract from there but the basic thing is vegetable glycerin let's go to five ounces hmm <coughs> For five ounces of vegetable glycerin, we want about an ounce of water. And the easiest way I found is use it with a dripper. You could control it a little more, a little better. Because if you get too much water in there, it's going to be too watered down and it won't, it won't work right. And the reason you use retardant, you mix it in with your paint, it gives it a, a, a longer work time. It slows down the drying for like a, a acrylic paint where you want to do a wet on wet technique where you can layer, layer the paints use the retardant it gives it easy easy to work with easy to blend layer so on and so forth so that's it five ounces of water one out or five ounces of uh, vegetable glycerin one ounce of water stir it up As you stir it, it'll get like a little milky, but then it will go clear as soon as the water gets mixed in with the glycerin. And there you have it. It's a little thicker. Here's, here's your water. Here's your flow. Here's your uh, retardant. Water. Just a little thicker. Does it doesn't splash around. Another quick tip. Save money in the studio. Hit that little button down there, the little red button. After you hit that button, go over and hit that bell so you're notified when I'm uploading. Check the, leave me a comment down below. Try this out, leave me a comment, see if it, it works for you like it does me. I haven't had a problem with this mixture. It lets me layer my paint really well. Plus I also use the flow, flow and pluver that I make. I use both of them sometimes at the same time. So. Uh, till next time, get out there and paint something. <laughs>